Kasante buffs health growth increased, health regen increased, eBay shield up by 40 later on. Bro, at this point, I'm convinced it's for skin lines. Like, what the hell? Why is he getting buffed? What is this? Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Big brother is now big father. What I'm saying is one day that kid's gonna grow grow older and see Tyler wants chat log history. My girl. My girls. So precious. Bro. Just, uh, you know, a legacy. A so legacy precious. has been started here today. So yes, we are waiting yeah. on Tyler. Uh, to put his newborn child down. Wait, what's going on? Pull him into a interview. Oh! Really quick, just to catch up. <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. Um, sounds like we might just go to third place. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, my bad. Guys, give me a second. I'm coming. To be put down. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. He linked, he linked the Phoenix call. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see this tournament. I know it was a really big sponsor tournament. Actually, I did see like 30 seconds to a minute of this tournament. I opened up Double Lift stream and Emiru stream, uh, and Double Lift was in a game playing against like level one players, and Emiru was watching one of her teammates who had never played League before, who couldn't open the client. Like, it was crazy. There was, there was people in that tournament that had never touched the game before, ever in their life. Like two or three per team. Was it Sketch? Was it that guy's name? I was checking Emeru's stream and that guy was like unable to even open his client. What is this? He has like no music playing, he has nothing on. Yo Hutch, when you get here, just, just ulti anybody, okay? Ulti anybody. Got it! Yeah. Can you word over Emily? Yeah, uh, word word there. Yo, can you shield me, Lo? Can you shield me right now? <laughs> Look at him! Call shot! Oh my god. Oh, I missed box box. I'm so sorry. Emiru 2v2 kill double lift. Okay, drop the link. Drop the link. You're so good. Good job, guys. Get the drink. Get the drink. But these people, look at this, Caitlyn. 18 minutes, 30 CS, 0, 7. 18 minutes, 50 CS, 1, 7. Like, these people are brand new to League and they're playing against double lift. Like, how is that fair? Like... This tournament was just who 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 doesn't have the level ones. Today's the same day as last year when 1647 happened. OME, what is this? <laughs> so how will the seedings in MSI be distributed? So we give two guaranteed seeds and two plain seeds to NA and EU, while we only give one plain seed combined to PCS, LGL, and OCE. Okay, all I'm saying is who sneaked in LGL and OCE on this meme? Yo, chill out. Who sneaked that in? Okay, PCS fine. Who sneaked LJL OCE in? Yo. You're not part of the team, little pups. Okay, Evi made a miracle run, DFM upset here and there, and OCE did do one time, but you didn't take games off of BLG and shit like that. Don't sneak yourselves in there. Don't sneak. What is this? I think Diamond. one of the fascinating things about the bot lane, though, is you only need one person who is consistently out of position to get some big punishes. Mm, I'd be a kill here. That should be a kill. Nice. Starsman and Amy Rue going after Emily. Nearly getting the kill there. Emily gets away with about 50 HP. Now Double looking to find that. What is Double doing? I think Double loses this. Oh my. Oh my. No, god. he's not. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Emmy Rue just rolled him. The pro player just got you clapped. Are not getting Nubi tuned by Imru again. No way! No way! No way! No way! This is real life. She typed remake in all chat afterwards. Dude, okay, I said it as a meme before, but no way! Again? Yeah, it happened Bro, again. No shot! Yo, I mean that Emily person was inting, but. She was out. She just has to base. Double lift has to push. They might. I think. Who's trying to do advanced techniques with Sketch? He's actually unaware. Okay. And which buttons? 
is Q W E E R? <laughs> which yeah, one's yeah. which one's better? Just press them all. Just spam your keyboard. Just so you know. I love what you mean. He said which one? <laughs> Pope is the worst. Pope is the worst. <laughs> Wait, whose team was he on? Okay, they can actually win this shit. Who was on his team? This one is such a banger. Okay, last one, last one, last one. He's versus Box Box. There's no way he got solo killed by Box Box. He solo killed Box Box. Bro, Malphite is so OP. Malphite is so OP. Malphite is so OP. The point is that OCE and LJL have to play against PCS. Yeah, but I guess, I guess, I guess what would have happened in the PCS playoffs is you'd have, um, if you had two seeds, you'd have um, SHG and and PSG, right? So then, who sneaked OCE in there? <laughs> Who sneaked OC in there? My goat feels like yesterday he used to run it down mid and get banned. All those streams to show improvements feels old man. Chat, this is gonna be. Don't take this the wrong way, okay? Don't take this wrong. Is it normal for the baby to have that much hair? The babies have that much hair on spawn? Really? I thought they had no hair on spawn. I thought they had like a tiny bit of blonde hair and that's it. And then after like. Six months, it grows a bit of hair. Some babies have more than others. Depends on the genes. Hmm. 1647 Madverse T1 Anniversary, May 10th. I apologize for my post yesterday. Clearly, I should have included PSG as the fifth guy. Listen. Don't drag us down with you yet. We got one more team left, buddy. Yeah? We still got one card in our hand. Okay? We're not out yet. I shall never forget you for as long as I live. You were magnificent, PSG. <laughs> Western teams could never. Is Knight overhyped? Hmm. No. Well, I think the hype for Knight is valid because he is the best mid in the LPL. Rookie, shout out to you. I'm sorry, I can't include you um, because he's not here. But technically, he is the best man in the LPL next to, next to Knight and uh, next to Rookie. One MVP. Um, he's always won the LPL in the last couple of years on um, teams like JDG. He's been on teams like Tess. He's always been near the top. And uh, domestically, he's always had insane performances. It's just when he gets to internationals. It's not that things fall apart. I don't I don't want to say that things fall apart for him. I just think sometimes things don't work out. He's a really strong player though. I mean you saw a bit of it last year at MSI. I just worry for Knight that like I don't know if it's like the big, 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 big series that get to him, but for example, MSI, they played against, um, didn't JDG play against like T1 and stuff? They, they eventually like won out on those series. But when it gets to Worlds, things just fall apart. I don't know if it's, if it's, if MSI just, I don't know. I think LPL teams are better in shorter tournaments, but I also think there's probably a degree of pressure, right? It's not that he chokes, he just doesn't become that much of an impactful player, I think, you know? Chovy looking at the MSI title after BLG got smacked in game two. Yo, Chovy ain't off. Chovy ain't. Yo, yo, yo. Chovy ain't. He ain't. He ain't sailing for free, man. Yo, Fnatic. Fnatic gave Chovy a uh, Chovy a fucking bloody nose, man. Watch out. Watch out. That was only second seed LEC. NA and EU realizing their minor regions. Yo, why has EU been dragged into this minor region dog shit? FlyQuest doesn't make it to knockouts. Team Liquid look like a pile of shit. Fnatic does uh, semi fine. They still get stomped. G2 hasn't even played yet. And we're the ones being dragged down with you. Yo, fuck off, man. Listen. Actually, you know what? It's fine. It'll only last for a few more days. 
Fnatic goes to first Team Liquid. They knock Team Liquid out. NA is gone. Everyone can shut up about NA. We're fine. A bus in Chengdu that celebrates Faker's birthday. <laughs> Wait, there's a bus in Chengdu that celebrates Faker's birthday? <laughs> what? Do you think Mickey X over Caria? Wait, why did they... There's no way they asked Mickey X over Caria. <laughs> Does he know the uh, meme? I'm not sure. I guess we have to see on Friday. But <laughs> I think so far I haven't been performing too well. So, but I guess it's kind of similar for Caria. So I would say right now we're equal. Right now, Mickey equals Caria. <laughs> Mickey but, uh, equals you know, Caria. We, Ooh. Maybe one of us will overpower the other. Mickey equals Caria. Damn. Cajal, Cajal equals Faker as well. That's not a sarcastic comment. It's true. Throwback to Wolf's reaction to when Jensen threw worlds. What is this? When Jensen threw what? Jensen! What is that pathing though? That pathing was so weird. Let's watch the let's watch the trailer. Come on, be a good one. Be a good one. This is a big game. This is a big game. Give me a good trailer. Going into 2019, it was Oh not quite 2019. A it's fucking Okay, I tried to, we're gonna do a new challenge. We're gonna do a EU teaser. We're gonna do a challenge. See how long we can last in the video until 2019 is mentioned. Okay, you ready? Go. Going into 2019. Fuck! Okay. It was quite a crazy start, honestly. Where were you when the West rose up? G2 Esports eliminates SK Telecom. We're willing to, to take a lot of risks that most other people weren't. And we just got rewarded big time for that. This is what peak League of Legends looks like. And it comes from Europe. G Hold up. Wait, chat, I can give us premium because I have YouTube premium. We're willing to, to take a lot of risks that most other people weren't. And we just got rewarded big time for that. This is what peak League of Legends looks like. And it comes from Yo, YouTube premium goes mega hard. I think this team has gone through a lot of hardships. Last year, we lost both Vimsai and Worlds. Top stat, Giga Chat. But every time we came out stronger, we will rise from the ashes. Okay. I know we can do it again. That was scripted, Caps. Ciao. Okay. Is Caps, did we just, the only, is it the way to win now, just become FPX? Is that, is that, is, did we come to that conclusion? Just become a Phoenix? Is that, is that the logic here? That teaser was all right. All right. Not mega hype, but it was, it was kind of there. It was kind of there. What is that? What is that? What is that? What the fuck? <laughs> Who uploaded that? <laughs> my parents are naming Cacti after my teammates. This one's Bwipo because he's wide. Jensen because, as mum said, he is small and cute. 
Thank you, Mama Busio. Cactus. Jesus. All right, let's check the league reddit real quick. G to Mickey X, I still haven't lost a faker in a best of five. I mean, is he wrong? That is factually true. Wait, has he never lost a faker in a best of five? Wait, they've only played two best of fives? One at MSI, one at the World 2019, that's it? Oh, we're still... Is that it? They played two in 2019 and they never played again? What the fuck? T1's been shakier compared to last year. Wait, Mickey X is 9-3 and three against T1 historically. What? Really? 9-3? and three? Is that their win rate? What the fuck? Wait, that's insane, no? Wait, there's no way they're 9-3. and three. There's no way they're 9-3. and three. Wait. 2019, didn't they win? Th no, they won 3-2 and 3-1, right? They won 3-2, 3-1, so they were, they were 6-3. and three. Mickey X is 9-3. and three. Really? I think the meta is favoring us right now with the lane swapping going on. And T1 can't really pull out their crazy strategies without having to be worried about getting lane swapped on. True. It's funny. This tournament is funny. You know why this tournament's funny? Well, it's not funny. It's, it's, it doesn't matter how good your side lanes are this tournament, which is really weird to me. You will just get lane swapped on. Oh, we've got a better bot lane and you have counter pick support and you're, you're playing a bit stronger bot matchup and you're going to try and punish bot lane in a 2v2? Nope. Oh, you have a stronger top matchup, you're going to try and win top in, a, in an isolated 1v1? Nope. Nope. It's so... And then everyone can get to the lane phase to like level 5 before they even match again. And then everything's even. It's kind of crazy. There's no like set plays of stacking bot waves, diving, covering bot. There's none of that. You just fucking trade half the map and just farm. PCs were fine for us. Maybe Fnatic just had worse hardware since they're Europe's second seeds. With teams figuring out lane swaps, is there still room for experimentation? Yes, there are different evolutions to the lane swap. What are they cooking for today? Average day of the life of Mickey X. Wait, is my chat crashed? No, it hasn't. I wake up at around 10. Then I brush my teeth, exercise and scrim. Then I take a bit of a break and play solo queue, eat and scrim again. Play some 2v2s with the Fnatic bot lane, practice matchups, play more solo queue, have vote views or meetings, then go to bed. That's pretty much my daily routine so far every day. So he wakes up at 10, brush teeth, exercises, scrims. So they probably scrim to like 2, 3. Then they play solo queue and eat a bit. Then they probably start scrims again at like 5. And they probably finish scrims at like 8, 9. Then they play 2v2 bot lanes till like 9, 10, I guess. Uh, and then they play some solo queue till like midnight maybe. And they have like a vote viewer meeting and then go to sleep, I guess. Some shit like that. What do you mean no shower, Lule? I'm sure the teeth brushing is shower brushing as well, right? Check the donos. I have alerts off. Hold up. What are the minimum expectations for G2 at MSI? The lowest expectation would be winning at least a best of five against the LCR LPL. That's their lowest expectation. The bare minimum would be to achieve that. The bare minimum is to win. Someone in three years and said, I've come to see if, G if you are a G2 Golden Road doubter. After they smash T1, you'll see that they will smoke everyone in this tournament and at Worlds 2. Bro, whatever you're huffing and puffing, give me some. Kuh? What would you say to hype up the fans are still doubtful of the LEC? I guess watch our best of five and you can make your mind up. If you suck, then you don't have to believe. But if we do well, you might have to reconsider. Damn. Cold, Mickey, cold. Cold. What is, what is Zeus saying as well? Zeus discussing G2 being good in the LEC versus playing well internationally is quite different. All right, Zeus, you have to shut us down like that. I would say in the matchup G2 versus T1, you can definitely predict and expect some new things. I wonder if there's any... Com You've received a lot of criticism lately. What do you think of your personal level? I believe that in terms of my own performance, I know myself the best. Thus, I believe that this kind of feedback doesn't affect me. I only think about how I can improve. Hell yeah. I don't think the mental pressure or part of being the biggest org or in the spotlight all the time matters in the end, as long as you're skilled. Therefore, I believe the most important thing is to be confident in your own skills. 
Okay. Planes help them. I know I'm aware G2 has a lot of titles and they make it international tournaments. I do think that a lot of people also believe they are really good and maybe the top Western region. But I also believe that being good in the LEC versus being good and playing well in the international stage is quite different. Okay, you don't have to say it like that. Can you be nice about it? Let's, let's see how Bwipo is doing. Hey guys, this is Ashi Ken of Horizon Esports. This interview has been brought to you by Republic of Gamers, powered by Jeffy G14. And I am joined by Bwipo, the top laner of FlyQuest. After they do go against PSG on the final day of 2020, I'm not going to play Arena with you. Shut up. Um, MSI players. Um, hey, Repo. Yeah, that, yeah, that was not the result that FlyQuest or you or many NA fans would have wanted. How are you doing right now? I'm extremely disappointed. Um, oh, my uh, God. No, I'm sad. And uh, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Oh my god, man, it's I feel much so fucking to bad. Just can't... good old-fashioned despair. Despair? Like, what was your initial expectation coming into the PSG series? Because the fact that FlyQuest had beaten PSG before, I think set Fuck, a lot of people s expecting FlyQuest to repeat that feat again. Yeah, um, for me... It was difficult to set expectations. I feel like after the loss we suffered to T1, I, I could, you know, you could feel it in the air, you could feel it in the room, kind of. Confidence was shattered, and uh, unfortunately, I, we didn't uh, manage to find the confidence back after after that loss. It is how it feels to me. Obviously, everyone has their own perspective on what happens, but I think that um, when you lose like that, it's you know really important that you get back on your feet and you know what a small win looks like. And I think that. Uh, today's series yeah five seconds is fine ones were not enough Florence. for me and maybe our team i'd have to watch the rest play but you know when i got a kill uh, i would over chase into a bad choke and we'd all die in game one um and then you know when we we're playing team fights we are like hard committing to the team fight like everyone's like going in uh trying to get a complete ace you know instead of you know, maybe get one or two kills and then play mm. the fight from there mm. so um yeah i think it's just like proof that when your confidence is shattered, it's really hard to take small wins and be happy, but that's exactly yeah. what you need to do in league, and you can slowly build off of that, and uh, we weren't able to do that, so that's what I think. Uh, you mentioned specifically how the T1 loss had impacted you in particular. Would you say that this also, uh, also reflected on the overall FlyQuest team? Because this FlyQuest has a lot of veterans that are used to. Chad, I don't want to watch this video. It's, it's very somber. 